Hi, I'm Scott Geitler, the owner of Blue Water Photo, and today we're going to talk about the Nauticam DA10 underwater housing. Before I talk about the housing, a really brief intro about the camera. I shoot with the DA10 all the time. I love it. I think it's just amazing underwater, and I've written a very detailed review of the DA10 on my other website, the Underwater Photography Guide. So if you want some more insight into the DA10, you can visit that website and read that article. But without further delay, this amazing housing has so many features, it's, it's hard to know where to begin. But there are several great housings out there for the, the DA10. Um, the Nauticam is one of them. It's uh, made of uh, solid machined aluminum. Um, one of the best things about this housing is it's the easiest housing to remove the port. So you just go like that, the port comes off. Put it on, the port comes back on. That combined with the little lens release means that you can change your lenses on the boat between macro and wide angle um, very quickly without having to open up the housing. And you wouldn't need to open up the housing because if you use a 64 gig memory card, you can shoot for a couple days and the battery can last like 12 dives. So it's, uh, it's, it's really amazing setup. The housing comes with fiber optic cables and it takes an optional flash trigger. The flash trigger is really nice because you can shoot fast without having to wait for the camera's internal flash to recycle, but it uses fiber optics so you don't have all that messy maintenance that you would need with a electronic sync cord. So that's a really nice feature. So we have the port easy on and off. We have the flash trigger. Another great feature is the vacuum check system. You can buy the optional vacuum check system, install it, and you have a little light that goes on. It turns green. That means that you did all your, all your O-rings correctly and you're good to go. Really nice thing. It also has a, uh, um, a port for either a sync cord or a HDMI connection if you want to have a video monitor for doing video because the DA10 takes pretty, pretty good video. Housing is quite easy to open. Um, you have an O-ring. It has a couple more twists than I'd, I'd, I'd like to see in an O-ring. It takes a couple extra seconds to get in, but once it's in, it's in. You see there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of parts in here, Nauticam likes to move their, their controls around and try to give you the best possible ergonomics. So it's easy to open and close the housing by pushing these red, little red buttons. Just make sure you, you wash and work them well after diving so they don't, so they don't stick. It has rubberized, rubberized handles. Most people really like the feel, the rubberized, rubberized handles. Well, they do feel a little different than, than some of the other housing brands. You can pop the flash up, you can pop it down. You have access to all the controls you would need underwater and also a few that you would not need underwater. It has a really nice control wheel here for um, using the control pad on the DA10, uh, which I really like to do when, when reviewing my images. Using the, the knobs is very easy. The zoom's very easy, the ergonomics are great, it's very light, easy to use underwater. Speaking of underwater, uh, I like to use a, a fisheye lens like the Dakina 10-17 to or the Sigma 15mm fisheye. The 16-35 to f4 VR lens is great for sharks, pelagics, models in the pool, really great, great lens with this camera. And the, uh, the 105mm f2.8 VR macro lens is my go-to lens for macro, for fish, for anything, anything small, anything that's not wide. So again, I think this is a great choice for, uh, for housing. You'll be very happy. Awesome port selection. Zoom gear is supported for a very wide range amount of lenses. Um, uh, a lot of us, including myself, again, have used this housing shoot with the DA10. So if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to uh, Call us or email us at sales at bluewaterphotostore.com. And uh, thanks a lot for watching the video.